I do feel terrible for the water back. They have to have the shaggiest coats out of the antelope species that we see here in the Sabi sand. So they definitely will be today. Well, why not come down towards Bivolzok Dam to quench your thirst? And that's exactly thirst. And that's exactly what these two waterback are doing. It wouldn't surprise me if there were some more just hiding at the back there. But a very, very pretty sight. We've actually had some fantastic sightings of waterback down at Bivolzok Dam over the last few days. Been very, very spoiled. But aren't they just mag sort of majestic creatures? I think this could be the same bull that we saw the other day too. His horns are really massive. Now, obviously waterback are known for getting quite large horns and quite a nice splay to their horns as well. But he is also a very, very good looking fella. Quite large, but I reckon that he's in the prime of his life now. Well experienced. And look at him going, still sucking up all that water. Remember, they have to drink every single day. And I think on days like this, it wouldn't surprise me if they come down to the water's edge more than once. And in winter, this is the sort of the time that you'll catch the animals drinking at the dam, not necessarily right at the end of the day, but typically to the middle of the day. <laughs> now, Di, you said that they are all cute, they're all shaggy. They are indeed. That's why I, say. I always feel sorry for them. I don't know why they don't go into the water. Come on, let's see how waterproof your coat actually is. Remember, they do have those oils, uh, those sebaceous glands. You can't really see them too well. Now, you might see them on her. There we go. There's a little wet patch just on her underside of her belly. And they've got that on either side of their bodies. And they secrete a foul-smelling substance. Um, do you know what I actually really want to do is I... I wouldn't mind finding an intact waterbuck carcass and actually having a closer look at those sebaceous glands. I'd be very intrigued to see um, what that substance must feel like and then also what those glands look like. But it's very effective at repelling water from their coats. We don't see it much down here in South Africa, but they normally run across the water uh, or swim across a dam if they need to get away from predators. Look at these horns. He's a massive bull. He is beautiful. And hopefully he's mating with lots of females so you can pass those good genetics on. I can't imagine any of the waterbuck cows will turn him down. He is a stunning man. He's very, very fit. He's fat. All the things that the female waterbuck will be looking for. And they've also got those striking markings on their face too, almost like a white eyebrow. We see a lot of the antelope with those white markings. And of course the classic white ring around the rump which is the easiest way to identify the waterbuck and off they go now that they've had a drink i'll probably go somewhere else well let's see you might phlegm and grimace i thought she was going to maybe urinate for a second are you quite excited there young lady oh actually let's see what happens here she actually keeps lifting her tail it's almost as if she's presenting herself to him or are you just going to use the luxury facilities? No, I think she's she's very excited by this boy. Maybe that's why they've moved off. Maybe the rest of the herd are still in the distance, or perhaps they've already come down to drink water and moved on and left the honeymoon couple down here. I'm actually just trying to think what the gestation period of a waterbuck is. I might have a look. I think it's about six, between six and eight months, if I'm not mistaken. I'm probably mistaken. Let me get a look in my book very quickly see we can try and gauge hang on here's antelope oh that was fantastic I got that so quickly normally it takes me ages to find things in the books let me just search here where does it say this oh, it's so, this book I love this book that I'm reading or I look at but just takes forever to try and find anything. Reproduction, yes, that's probably where I should be looking. Yes, eight and a half, eight to eight and a half months. So we're about right, so, so that would make sense. That was quite a long gestation period too for an antelope. But there they are. Are you going to get up to anything? Perhaps they're camera shy. He's definitely been around though this bull now Natalie you're wondering what is that ring on his rear for it's quite interesting you'll see lots of different types of follow me signs on animals and the most classic follow me sign 
has to be that of a warthog. So when we see warthogs running away from us, they stick their tails right up in the air and that's their follow me sign. So that's exactly what that white ring on a water buck's bottom is for. It's so that if they are running through thick vegetation or they're running away, it's quite an easy thing to sort of see and, and to be able to, of course, follow. We see it with Impala, Kudu, Inyala. They've all got quite a bit of white underneath their tails, so you get that flash of white. Lions have got the black markings on the back of their ear and also the black hair on the tip of the tail. So there's lots of different types of follow me signs. I wonder if this cow is not an estrus because she seems she seems very excited and obviously she's urinating a little bit every now and then. I would just love for that male to walk over and sort of phlegm and grimace. That could be quite nice to see.